What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest, man. Uh, we got Larry Nance Jr. with us. Appreciate you, you know, taking the time out to talk with us today. So kudos to you. Clap it up real quick. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, of course, of course. Cool. So let's jump right into it. Um, so tell me, what does UL Cleveland do? So UL Cleveland is... is um, when you, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's basically like a, uh, so why I picked them, right. Yeah. Is, mm-hmm. is give you, give you some backstory to start. So I, I did a, I did a program this year to, um, to help struggling businesses through the pandemic, um, mm-hmm. you know, raffling off my jerseys and, and we actually got the calves, um, to match that. Mm-hmm. And so raffle my jerseys off. Uh, say it went for the average price they, they went for like a thousand dollars I would match that myself the Cavs would match it for a total of like three thousand we'd give that to um, one business every single game yeah. and so you know obviously um, you know we, we tried to you know we tried to spread that to you know every business regardless of you know where it was who, who it you know who it was owned by and all that stuff but um, I also wanted to do something specifically for uh, you know, specifically for the minority population. Yeah. And that's where you Cleveland comes in. Um, you know, they are, um, it's, they, so that's their, that's what I did this year is essentially their goal uh, every year. Um, but for minority owned businesses and minority owned business owners um, and entrepreneurs. So, yeah. um, you know, they, they um, provide workshops, they um, provide relief funds, they provide uh, a lot of tools and resources that, that uh you know aren't aren't often available to um you know businesses in in you know uh primarily minority uh communities or minority owned so right. um that's that's super important so um you know we partnered with with them to um you know donate i think close to over uh, i want to say close to over one hundred fifty thousand dollars this year towards mm-hmm. them so, um you know hopefully uh, hopefully it did some good with it Right. Oh, I'm sure you did. You know, especially when you think about like that pandemic and the kind of businesses that are affected, like above like most is always the businesses that are like owned by, you know, people of color and things like that who get hit the hardest. So I'm sure like the work you've done, the money you raised has, you know, done some amazing things, especially when things start to get critical for businesses and, you know, you got to close because of COVID. So I'm sure like all that money you generated went to like a, that people did amazing things with. So, and then you know, how, like, what, I know you told me about UL and, like, the the jerseys and things like that, but what, like, inspired you to do that? Like, did you just wake up one morning and was like, you know what, I need to do something, or has, you know, been something you've been about for, like, your entire career? So, um, you know, for me, it was, it was coming back to Cleveland that really made me, uh, I, I was born and raised here, so coming back to Cleveland is what really made me want I shouldn't say want to, but feel able to make a difference within my community. Yeah. And, um, you know, just because, you know, like I was born and raised here. So like, I, you know, I, I know so many people, so many people that have been so many businesses that have opened, closed and uh, families that have um, came up, went down. Like it, I, you, you see it all within your community, mm-hmm. right? Be coming back. I wanted to do something, um, you know, I wanted to do something to try to benefit everyone. Right. Like, and so small businesses and small business owners are, are, you know, the pillars of a lot of our communities, right? Like, like not every community has a, has, you know, (laughs) has a Walmart, has a Kmart, Mm -hmm. is easily accessible for an Amazon to ship to, or, or um, a Drizzly to bring, you know, to bring uh, your, your drinks to. So, um, you know, the, the, the small business owners are, are really what keep, you know, what hold up a lot of our communities. And so for me, um, you know, what really got it started was seeing NFL did my cause, my cleats, you know, something Mm -hmm. that they do every year. I I wanted to take that on and do it um, a little bit bigger. You know, I I would still like to, you know, like to see the NBA do a little bit of something like that, you know, with, you know, we take our shoe jerseys and and sponsor a cause. And that makes sense because I think right for each game, you guys are wearing a new pair of sneakers, right? It's yeah. pretty much, yeah. and so <laughs> instead of letting those rot in the locker room, you know, let's mm-hmm. let's sell, let's raffle off our jerseys and and get them to uh, some nonprofits, some charities, you know, because right. that's money 
that's money that is is unaccounted for that we could, mm-hmm. could uh, you know that we could really take and do some good with so that's uh that's kind of where the idea came from yeah absolutely so has this been like a charity you've always been associated with or like you you kind of just like kind of put your hand in or have your hands in like a couple of different ones within uh cleveland so i i, I try to uh I try to get around to, uh, you know, helping everybody out. You know, I, right. I'm very fortunate to lead the life I lead. And so, um, yeah, uh, UL Cleveland is one that I've been um, involved with, you know, both Cleveland and Akron um, for a while now. Uh, the food bank is in both the cities. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we did that. We, we do that every year. Um, but then what was new this year as well is, is uh, so we did the T-shirt in- initiative and had, uh, you know, businesses send their shirts and uh, we actually got a few nonprofits send their shirts. And, and, and while um, we didn't represent them throughout the year, it was only the small businesses. I, I did, me and my wife did double back and look at every single nonprofit and charity that sent us a shirt and mm-hmm. sent us a letter. We went and uh, separately donated to every single one of them, which ended up being, I think, around 50 yeah. uh, Cleveland nonprofits. So um, you know, all, all local things I'm trying to, you know, this is, this is my community. This is my home and, and, right. uh, lifting them up is, is what it's about. Absolutely. Just, you know, paying it for, especially it's the place where you grew up in. So for sure. And that last question for you. So how can someone like myself or even anybody else get involved with UL Cleveland? With UL Cleveland, it's, it, it's easy. You know, there are a lot of volunteer opportunities, um, you know, UL Cleveland actually does does work with the food banks, does work with the homeless shelters, does, does work with um, um, does work with the Boys and Girls Club. Um, yeah. But you know, for the easiest the easiest way to do it is you know for you specifically the person e- individuals to go uh, you know instead of ordering that uh, instead of ordering the case of water from you know from Giant Eagle, mm-hmm. you know you can grab it from your local convenience store yeah instead of uh ordering your school supplies off of amazon go down the street there's a there's a mom and pop down the street that has the same thing that you could just be giving those funds to a major corporation you know you're you're recycling them back into your community and helping right. a family helping um you know hel- helping the local businesses so um you know it's it's uh getting involved is easy it's just yeah making people aware of it. That's, yeah. that's tough. Yeah. Just taking that conscious effort and just like, instead of going to Amazon or Walmart, let me just walk down the street to the local spot where I could like pick up, like you said, schools of pies or any of those little knickknack things I need to help, you know, that money circulate within the community versus just sending it out to, you know, a billion trillion dollar company. And that's it. So yeah. 100%. Cool. But that's about it. Quick conversation. Um, you all Cleveland made, doing amazing work. And outside JD Sports and Finish Line, especially with Community Voices, you know, elevating and bringing awareness to like programs like this and leveraging your voice to help inform like all our followers in the community. So we'd like to make a donation on your behalf to U.S. Cleveland as well, um, which I'm sure they'll appreciate, you know, to help join your mission and, you know, helping the small businesses stay afloat within this time. So. No, nah, that's, inc- that's incredible. I-, I really appreciate that. You know, it's uh like I said, this is, this is Cleveland is family, Cleveland is home and, and, yeah. uh, you know, the small businesses are, are, you know, keeping us all up. So I, exactly. I, uh, you know, hopefully we can work together forward in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I'll let you have the last word before we wrap it up. So. Oh, I, I appreciate that. You know, I just, again, the, how, how we, how we, um, you gotta be the change that you hope to see. Right. So, absolutely. you know, we want to see our communities lifted up. We want to see uh, these local businesses thriving. We want to see um, business owners, people of color. Um, we want to see entrepreneurs coming out of the minority communities. And 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 if that's what we want to see, it's on us to do it. Yeah. You know, so it's easy. Like I said, it's easy to go to Amazon, easy to go to Kmart, easy to go to Target. That's that's easy. Mm-hmm. Um, do the research, find, you know, find out who owns the business in your community and, and, and yeah. go support them. They'll be grateful. And, and uh, you know, you get some, um, it, it might meet some great people in the way too. Absolutely. It's those mom and pop stores, man. But uh, again, thank you so much for your time, Larry. And yeah, till next time. Till next time. I appreciate you. You too, boss.